Okay, we're gonna do some more stock footage. Uh, this one's really old. This one's actually back when I was um still in sophomore year. So it's not too long from now since it's just near the end of the summer vacation. But whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna talk about some other stateless societies. I'm gonna talk about modern times, and modern times was, in my opinion, um, the only stateless side successful that happened to have private property that I can easily find. I mean, to find the research to know about this place isn't really that hard, and it's not very far from me. It's only like in Brentwood, New York. And modern times lasted um, about a decade. It was formed in 1851 near what's now Brentwood, New York. Uh, and it was made to be mutualist. And initially the only things that wasn't private were the alleyways. However, that eventually became privatized. And um, I'll put the links having all the articles that prove that this place exists and as a stateless society it's a little bit of the opposite of what Freetown Christiania was. Freetown Christiania is a little bit more um, on the left where this one's more on the right with its values. Another thing is that uh, modern times Although having a lot of private property, being mutualist, and having individualist values for women, uh, there was like a little standard on how they dress. Um, it was all values, really. And there was no police. There was no law enforcement, which is a mistake in my that I consider, but because there was no violence that was engaged, because there wasn't a lot of destruction that occurred no one was there wasn't that high crime rate due to the Dunbar units those high Dunbar units um you didn't have those insane crime rates that we have nowadays in our society so I guess they could afford it however after the Civil War and what seemed to be a good decade-long run um, a lot of people were integrating into Brentwood, New York, back when it was called the Modern Times. And so Modern Times eventually faded out into being a normal hood, like it is right now. You see, right now, Brentwood, New York's pretty much the hood. It's kind of like my place, except... A little bit less packed in density and um, more on the suburban side. Whereas I'm in the city, of course. And, <laughs> yeah. All in all, Modern Times was a success, in my opinion. It lasted a decade. It was very good as a stateless society that proved that private property can exist in a stateless society and it can still be very good and functional. I think that the lack of defense um, really made the integrations that happened post-Civil War the thing that killed modern times, the thing that turned modern times into Brentwood, New York. But who can blame them? Now, yeah, it's pretty much it. It was a very successful anarchist community. Uh, the guy who made Brentwood Modern Times uh, was an anarchist himself with individualist values, so he had that homo economicus perspective. And 
He really tried to make other stateless societies, but it wasn't as successful as modern times. Now when I look at these little areas of New York that not a lot of people talk about, um, like Brentwood, New York, I realize that New York's kind of this complicated little place and no one really pays attention to it. All, they only talk about New York City or Long Island or Albany sometimes. But that's enough of my ranting. Uh, all in all, I gotta say that I was very interested in finding out about this because I knew about this since 2009, but I didn't do a very good job of the research. I think that my methodology is very unorthodox and a lot of people are turned off by this. But whatever. All I know is that anarcho-mutualism existed at some point. Being an anarcho-capitalist, I'm just happy that there's a place with a lot of private property as a stateless society that was really successful, that was functional. Now, the way they they had their own currency, and that's another thing that, that should be worth mentioning. Yet, um, instead of the money being printed from one source and being backed up by gold, it was backed up by hours of honest labor. So you can tell that it wasn't really the Austrian perspective. But nonetheless, for something that's 19th century, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool indeed. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't really got much else to say.